All right, guys, I got some bonus content for you guys. My man Roscoe opened his new shop that you guys saw. He got some new tool chests that have a wood top, and we've been talking about trying them out for a while. Me and Philip have been talking about it. So Philip is on his way with some new tool chests for our stations. We're gonna test them out. I'm gonna try to get my station broken down and out of the way by the time he gets here so we can throw the new one in place and load it up for you guys. Just kinda wanna show you guys the new setup, show you guys the process. So anyway, let's get these stations moved out of the way before Phil gets here. What you got? Oh, dang it. All right, y'all take them out. I'm just gonna hold the camera. <laughs> I'm gonna do Whoa. They're in place. Now just to move all this to there. All right, guys, that's it for now. I think Phil's gonna stay and work on this a little bit, but I gotta get home for dinner. I'm gonna come back up here when it gets dark and everybody's in bed and I'm gonna finish putting it together, but I'll go ahead and show you guys the top of the station. All right, guys, so a little bit cramped. I gotta get a new blow dryer mount for the side over here. One cool thing, this does come with a power strip, so my blow dryer is right close and it will be long enough. Uh, you guys see, a little bit jumbled, not a whole lot of top area. We did lose like eight inches, but we got all these drawers. One big top drawer. I'm probably gonna move a lot of stuff into this top drawer. And we gained, now we have nine drawers, guys. I only had three and a double door. So I'm gonna gain some drawer space, which is nice. And uh, I don't know, we'll come up here later and see what we can figure out. Four hours later. All right guys, so we got it all done. Here's your man, Phillip Station. He just left, but I told him I'd throw it in here. I wanted to show you guys these antique clippers that he has in his drawer. Uh, we got the antique Oster Speedline, the Oster Fast Feed, the Corded Detailer. Now guys, obviously those aren't antiques, but that's a little joke. I don't know, I haven't seen a Corded Clipper in quite a while, but so there's Phillips. You guys saw the time lapse of mine, but we'll go through the station real quick. I haven't shown you guys recently, so. Lost a little counter space on top, but we added a lot of that stuff in this bottom drawer, or this top drawer, I mean. But you guys see my normal setup, my shears. I uh, got a little bit of product out, tonic gun, alcohol, water bottle. Went ahead and put the no drip over here by the compressor. Guards, cool care, all that. We got the Rebel. There's the hitter with the FX blade. If you guys didn't see that video, definitely check it out, along with the Evo right here with the GTX blade. Exergo, the two custom bagless FX I just got with the rubber handles. If you guys didn't see that video, definitely check it out. Of course, we got the Uno and the Prodigy and the poor little old Slimline over here. I don't really use it much anymore, but uh, guys, this is the new blow dryer I've been using. This is a Schrate off of Amazon for 40 bucks. I also am working on a video on that, but I uh, just haven't got it done yet. I'm gonna get another mount to hang the blow dryer on the end over here. Something cool, guys, it does have its own power strip. So my blow dryer is plugged in right there close to the station. Forgot about the octanes. But yeah, guys, you can see, nice big workstation. Got a lot of drawer space. Oh yeah, I guess I was gonna show you guys the drawers, but uh, we kind of just wanted some more counter space. Funny enough, it was a little bit smaller. 
Uh, but the drawers made up for it. Our other ones had three drawers and we had a double door, which really was wasted space. So nine drawers now, I'll go ahead and show you guys what I was in the drawers. So a lot of my daily stuff, guys, I put up top. Got some of the product that I use. That's some Blue Mon. This is a Marmara product. This guy's is my favorite clay that I have been using, Barber Space Wax. If you can't get it, the Barber Matte Clay by Marmara. A couple level three products. Here's my Marty Blends guards, guys. I am gonna use them, but not for YouTube videos. So the Gamma guards, some more color guard backups, fibers, neck strips, gloves, enhancement cards, the beam. You guys know I take it on the road with me. Um, I do like that compressor in the shop. It does kind of stay clean easier because it has so much pressure. Just to answer that question for everybody. Here's my junk clipper drawer, guys. You guys that saw the giveaway coming soon, there's a few of them. Got a few other guts in here, some blades, some clipper parts, some filthy mods. Left this one for my capes. I do have a lot of illusion capes. I actually just gave a lot away, but uh, towels in the bottom drawer like normal. A little bit of extra stuff, guys. There's the XL that I was using before. Obviously, like I said, I'm using that other one right now to do that video. A couple Babyliss chargers, curl sponge, some diffusers. And then here's all the product, guys. So we got some Cool Care, some Air Duster. This is the aftershave that I use. If you guys are wondering, it is level three aftershave and I got some level three hairspray. We've been a vendor with them for a long time, guys. So honestly, I just get their stuff super cheap. I can buy a case of 12. Same with neck strips. I got a crap ton of neck strips. There's some shave gel, 245 powder, no drip, some color and some gloves. I got a lot of stock, guys. We're not gonna run out anytime soon. But anyway, guys, there's the station, the new setup. Also, my man Hunter that you guys saw get a high taper in one of my videos moved next to me. So I did scoot over a little bit, give him some room for his ring light and whatnot. But there it is, guys. You can see it. I'm super stoked. Nice, big, sharp, brand new workstation. I can't decide if I want to put stickers on it or not. So you guys let me know. I'm thinking I might do it super nice and neat like a race car and put, you know, if Fort Worth sends me a decal, put it right here. Super neat. 245 clutch. Kind of lay it out super nice. Maybe if I get a big one, cut it in half and put it on each side of the double doors. I don't know. You guys leave me a comment and let me know what you think. But yeah, guys, that's the station. Ready to get back to work in a couple days. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, guys, smash the thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think of the new station. Make sure you guys subscribe. I just told you a few videos that are coming soon. And I'll catch you guys next time.